do genetics cause vitamin deficiencies? This is a question we get very often. If the gene SNPs that you have have the potential to cause deficiencies. Absolutely, yes. Uh, that's one of the main things that we deal with with all of our patients. We specifically look at what gene SNPs they have so that we can accurately put them on the right supplements. So Dr. Purser always says, good nutrition in equals good hormones out or good wellness out. Um, and so that is definitely controlled by your genes. What deficiencies do you have inside of your cells? And so let's talk about a couple different ones that may be causing you certain deficiencies. MTHFR is one of the number one gene SNPs that we see that cause major B vitamin deficiencies. So MTHFR in general is the inability to process folate correctly. And so you have to use different versions of folate to get the benefits of it. And so MTHFR, if you have one of those gene SNPs, there's a couple different versions, you will have very key vitamin deficiencies causing all kinds of symptoms. Another one that we see is PEMT, uh, which is a gene that's responsible for the production and absorption of phosphatidylcholine, which is a critical phospholipid used in every cellular membrane throughout your body, especially in your gut, uh, especially in your stomach, where those cells have to be regenerated constantly. If you have a PEMT deficiency, you will have very low levels of phosphatidylcholine. And so you need a supplement and help your body out where it doesn't have what it needs. Another major one that we'll see is SOD or superoxide dismutase, SOD1, 2, or 3. If you have any one of those gene SNPs, you're gonna have very low levels of either SOD1, 2, or 3. If you're low in superoxide dismutase, you're gonna have a lot of oxidative stress and oxidative damage. SOD, SOD, is the frontline defense against the superoxide radical. And this is a free radical, a very dangerous one that's created or that can happen in every single cell and every single mitochondria of your body. And so we have the defense mechanism of superoxide dismutase. If you have one of the gene SNPs for it, you'll have a lower efficiency protection against these superoxides. So do genetics, do genetics cause vitamin deficiencies? Absolutely yes, but there's a lot that we can do to help them. Reach out to our office, get our gene testing, get our, our CMA intracellular testing, and that is the perfect place to start for everything that we, that we can do to help you. Reach out, thanks.